Hi, I'm Brian Preston. And I'm Kyle Fernandez. And we are with Palmer House Properties. We've got your back when moving to the St. Louis area. So today we're gonna to talk about five pros and five cons of living in St. Louis. Let's get to it. All right, Brian, so I have no idea what your list says. And um, I have no idea what your list says. So I'm anxious to see how many we have that are like and, sure. and not alike. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you kick it off with a pro. So the first pro is the cost of living in, in St. Louis, Missouri is the sixth best, sixth lowest um, in the nation. So the factors that are, that are evaluated when we're determining the cost of uh, living is housing, grocery, healthcare, uh, what do those things cost? Like daily things that you spend money on. And, and again, uh, one of the pros of St. Louis is it's very low low cost of living coming in at number six. So I, uh, ironically, that was my my number one. Was my, it? Yes, it was. Right. Yeah, so here's our little cheat sheet here in number one. So okay. ironically, great minds think alike, That's right? right. Um, all right, I guess we can talk about some cons. Um, I'll, I'll kick off the con. So today on the way here, um, I actually had to circle back around and go back home yep. to get a Claritin D. Um, so a big con here in St. Louis is the allergies are terrible. Um, some people have seasonal allergies, mine are terrible all year round. So uh, a con, the allergies in St. Louis suck. Definitely allergies is a con. Uh, we have high humidity here, so it, it, uh, it's one of the things that causes the allergies to be bad. All right, next we're gonna go to number two. So Kyle, why don't you give us a, a pro? So I think I have a pretty good pro here. Most people don't know this, and maybe I'm making it up, but I did read it online, and we all know everything online is true. Absolutely, it uh, is. We are the second largest wine manufacturer in the US. So we actually have some good wineries here, and ironically, um, we have uh, a 700 acre winery getting ready to be developed here in St. Louis. It's going to be see that. pretty far west, um, but it's, it's made to mimic Napa Valley. So um, big money coming into it. They're actually putting a hundred million dollars into this winery, which I think is going to be pretty amazing for St. Louis. So I would say a pro is our winery. Yeah, I didn't, I did not have that one. I did not realize that we were that high on the list. I'm here to teach you, bro. Yeah, thank you. I You're welcome. That. Yeah. So the number two con for the, the top five pros and cons, a, a con is that we're not, we're a mid-sized city, mid to small. So we, we're not a large city. And um, because of that, our public transit system is not as developed as you would see in a larger city like Chicago or Houston. So um, I have that as a con is that the transit system is not as developed as what we would like it to be. Most people do have cars here, but it, the good thing is it's, it's, um, it's not inconvenient to have a car. Parking is free most places in St. Louis. That was on my con list as well. Was it? Um, in lack of public transportation, you have to have a car. Yep. Um, we talk about it all the time. We actually mentioned it in our last video. One of our last videos is we're kind of 30 minutes from everything, no matter what part of town yeah, you're in. Yeah, it's a half hour to wherever, yep. kind of wherever you want to yep. go, it's a half hour. So I like doing pros more than cons, but I'm going to go ahead and let you take the next pro. Okay, so the next pro is that uh, when we talk about traffic, um, along with the, what I just stated in, in number two is that um, you know it, we, you're gonna need a car for, for most places that you go here and but the good thing is we don't have the traffic like a major city does um, if traffic to us is if it normally takes you 30 minutes say to get home or to go someplace it might take you 38 or 39 minutes so we really have nothing to complain about so the pro is that we don't have, we have the traffic situation is favorable for sure. Especially since COVID hit. There's yeah, no, there's yeah, no, no traffic, it's, it's really, it's really down. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a problem here. So I don't know how our London traffic that. people even have jobs, so there's nothing really to talk about. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's interesting. All right, what, what do you got for a con? So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. Uh, St. Louis is known for our crime. Uh, we have a, an exceptionally high crime rate. Um, we're four times the national average 
So our crime in St. Louis is astronomical. A, a big con is is definitely our high crime rate. That is, that is definitely a con, but d with that, do you feel that it's an unsafe place? Depends on where we're at. Um, I think anywhere in the country, you need to be aware of your surroundings, but certain parts um, of St. Louis, you have to be even more aware. Sure. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great city. Um, I don't feel that it's unsafe, but I agree. the stats... The stats don't lie, right. um, and it's certain areas that are more crime-stricken than others. Um, now, ironically, uh, they do lump East St. Louis, which is technically in Illinois, into that number, which I really don't think is too fair. Right, I could agree with that. Yeah. All right, we are on the number four item for pros and cons, and Kyle, why don't you go ahead and give us a pro? So. Actually, one of the um, biggest things in St. Louis that everybody tends to ask is, where'd you go to high school? Definitely a fact. It is a St. Louis thing. So um, one of my pros is going to be our educational system. We have some amazing public schools and private schools here in St. Louis. And we're actually home to the Harvard of the Midwest, which is Washington University. Correct. So we actually have a SLU School of Medicine. Uh, we actually have some amazing education here. So. Uh, I think a definite pro, especially for families that are coming to move to St. Louis, it's going to be the educational system. Absolutely. Um, our fourth con is that uh, we don't have a football team, so uh, that that hurts. Uh, it still hurts. The uh, we had the Rams, and they won a Super Bowl here, and they are now in LA. So that is uh, definitely a con. Is that we we don't have that team, but. We do have a new MLS team coming, um, and that stadium is, is starting to be built now. Kyle, what's the name of the new MLS team? Not a big fan, but I know there's some history behind it, but it's called St. Louis City. I actually like it. I think okay. it, uh, I, I feel like it fits with the MLS soccer, uh, the, 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 names, the other names of the, of the other teams. So I like it. Be interesting to see it how works, it's yeah. Be I mean, the up. stadium is going to be off the chart, and, and they're putting a, a again, bunch of money down into downtown St. Louis. Yep. So, um, great for the city, regardless. And St. Louis really gets behind our sports teams, and so, and I know soccer, there's a big, this is a big soccer market, and it will do well here. It's a soccer city, yeah, it, it, is, it always it has is, been. It yeah, it's a big yeah, soccer yeah, city. So, it's going to be fun. I think yep. it's going to draw a lot of people. Yep, I uh, can't wait to go to a game. All right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and, and finish this list off yes. uh, with the last pro and con. Yep. Um, lucky you, you get to end off with a pro, so I like, let I like me know what your pro is. So uh, our, our fifth and final pro is that our that St. Louis is a foodie town. There is lots of great places to eat, uh, lots of different areas that you can find great uh, different cuisines. And uh, we were voted, St. Louis was voted number two by Yelp for best places to eat in the nation. So um, to kind of piggyback on that, um, I'm a foodie. My wife and I, uh, we do date night once a month um, and we pick a different restaurant each month. Either one of us, we don't know where we're going. Right the, on. the one rule is it can't be a chain and it can't be somewhere that we've been before. We've been doing this for three years. So you gotta take turns. We take turns. Okay. Um, and we're yet to duplicate a restaurant, yeah, which is pretty important. remarkable. Yeah. And that's again taking the chains out of out of the equation. So, yeah, um, speaks values. Amazing restaurants yeah. in St. Louis, which people are shocked by. Um, but we really do we have do. some good it's restaurants. True, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, fifth con. What my got? fifth con. Um, you know what? It's our sales tax. Uh, we are actually higher than the national average. I don't want to get my numbers wrong, so I wrote this down because you know how I am with sure. numbers. Sure. National sales, the average sales tax is 7.3, we're at 9.6. Wow. Now, I didn't uh, realize that. something else that we have, I, I, I recently had a new neighbor move in and he went to register his vehicle. Yeah. And the first thing he came back and said, what the heck, I just had to pay $1,200 to register my car. Yep. Guess what? We are taxed, personal property tax, on yep. our vehicles, um, our boats, that kind of fun stuff. So our tax rate is a little bit higher um, than the national average. Uh, it kind of bites me in the butt a little bit every time we get that sure. tax bill at the end sure. of the year. We make it up every other places. We tend right to, now, yeah, so. absolutely. You know, it's, it, it all equals out at the end. Cool. So there you have it. There's the five pros and five cons of living in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, remember to reach out to us. 
Uh, I'm Brian Preston. I'm Kyle Fernandez. And just don't forget to like and click on this link below. If we can help you in any way, if you're planning to move to St. Louis or just have questions about anything real estate related, please reach out to us. Stay tuned till our next video.